Hey everybody, so I'm actually finally making this video, which is one of the most requested one, like how do we get your campaign registered inside Twilio or like if you're using Twilio for Go High Level or Batch Lead, how can you get your A2P 10 DLC registration done? So um, soon as you log in, you're most likely going to see this uh, tab or this dashboard. So over to this section is where you're going to see your account information. So the most uh, inf important information would be your account SID and your token. So normally these two are the two information you will have to provide with Go High Level or Batch Leads to have it connected as your third-party application to enable texting and calling from those two platforms or if you're using this platform to another application or CRMs as well, that would work, okay? So from dashboard, you just have to go to this search bar and then from the search bar, just type in A2P. Uh, please make sure that you will be under the programmable SMS tab because if you select on the other A2P document, this is most likely just going to talk about the articles about A2P. So it has to be under the programmable SMS uh, section. So the moment you click on the A2P messaging, you'll be routed automatically to see what is your current status for your 10 DLC registration. So please take note that there is two process to get your 10 DLC done. One is to get your brand approved, meaning that's creating your profile, submitting your business information. Once that's approved or registered, you can now proceed with your standard campaign registration that that actually meant that you will be submitting your sample messages to be approved, um, like what type of messages you'll be sending to your customers or your leads is where you're like, is what you're gonna do with the uh, standard campaign registration. So on this dashboard, you would notice that we are done with getting our business profile submitted. So we have, we have been uh, approved or it's been registered basically our EIN or uh, legal business name has been approved by Twilio. So we're now ready to proceed with the campaign registration. So to proceed with campaign registration, you will actually see on the left hand panel, this two other options. So you're going to have the brand registration and you'll have the campaign registration. So here, what we'll be doing is the campaign registration itself, because like I said, our brand has been registered okay so to go about it you just have to click on campaign okay so we click on campaign and then from here is where you can see the current status of your campaign whatever campaign you have registered in the past this is where you're going to see the status what's the type of that campaign so it's a low volume mix campaign type and you notice that this one actually failed so if this failed you can always register new campaign so to do that click on register new campaign so this blue plus icon over here okay so when we click on register new campaign this is now we where you will have to first identify what is going to be your campaign use case type in most cases if you plan to only send out you know uh, to send out a minimum of like 500 SMS a day, which most likely under the low volume mix, that should be enough to cover for, you know, for those type of messages. We want to do low volume mix because if you select just customer care, then the system would recognize that if you're not sending any customer care related SMS, that will automatically reject any SMS you're sending from your phone number. So you want to do mix because it, it's going to be a combination of account notification, customer care, probably other market related SMS campaigns as well. So we want to go with low volume mix. It's $1.50 per month. And then from here, click on create new messaging service. So that's by default is going to be your uh, selection and then from the campaign description, I have like a one page document to guide you with, you know, how or what exactly should be in this section. It's more it's more like a copy and paste of what needs to be in here. So for real estate, I have that ready here. So let me just copy and paste my entire um, description for this specific campaign. Okay, so here are all the details you will need to fill out. So let me just get my document here so that I can copy and paste everything over to this section. Okay, all right. All right, so for the campaign description, this is where you're going to explain exactly 
uh, what type of messaging you'll be sending to your customers, like just briefly providing them exactly what is this going to be all about. So for me, um, like I said, I have an exact copy and paste wording on what this messaging is going to be all, all about like what's the overall use so i stated that here we are defining our clients as sellers and buy i mean buyers and they will be getting confirmation messages from us appointment reminders direct responses so these are all the types of messaging that they'll be receiving from our company and we wanted to make sure that that's clear within the campaign description itself to to have a higher chance of approval and then from the sample messages you want to provide at least two messages samples so here i have like i said one exact ready template so i'm just gonna have to put it in there with your sample messages do not ever forget definitely the the keywords in terms of being able to easily unsubscribe from text and then at the same time you have to mention a team member and being able to like identify your business within your sample messages okay the message contents can include or will always include or may include embedded links and phone numbers so always just turn that on in terms of how do end users consent to receive messages i have an entire um explanation on how we you know, we have we ask them to opt in to receive messages. So for us, our clients can either go to a website form to be able to receive um, that form. So here, you might want to just put in your business name specifically. So here, they'll also be getting a text consent form. They'll also be getting an email marketing. So like, hey, if you re reply to this email, obviously you're opting in to receive our messages. Uh, you also want to have like an opt-in keyword. So opt-in or keywords is just, you know, a few words that the clients or your seller, like seller, customer, lead can actually type in to be able to opt-in to receive messages from us. So these are some of the opt-in up in keywords and this can be you know this can vary depending on your business like how you you're running your business so this can be different keywords so you just have to come up with one and then you might want to provide like a sample up in message so the moment they opt in what exactly the you know the 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 customer will be getting as a confirmation that 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 they have successfully opted in to receive uh this information from us okay so let me just change all of these your business name because this has to be this has to to exactly match the client's name so just give me a minute and all right all right, so this is all right. So let me just make sure I have the correct information. Okay, so here I'm gonna change the business name to our actual client's name. So here at so that's the business name. Let me make sure. Okay, so once that's done, so like when you're satisfied with all these explanations, you can now proceed with clicking clicking on create. And this normally takes about a few business days for it to be reviewed. Access like around two weeks, but for most people, they get this approved within just less than three, five business days. So as I've mentioned, this is where you can, you're, you can see the progress. So you can always just go back to Twilio to look into the current progress of the campaign submission. So once this is approved, you're now ready to have it integrated within any platforms you want Twilio be, to be connected. So go high level batch leads. Okay. You can just submit your, again, your, your, okay. So. When you're basically ready, you can go back to your main dashboard and you can get your account SID information and then authentication token and have it submitted to the other CRMs uh, to make sure that that's integrated. So again, just click on A2P messaging. And from here is where you can see A2P overview. Okay. So this has been successfully registered. So to look at your current campaign status, just go to campaigns and you can see that it's currently in progress. So just wait for it to be approved and you're now ready to use this for texts or calls. 
you have any questions, let me know.